Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hey, it's the evening of Sunday and we are in November. Is it the 13th? Yeah, 13th. And I've been talking about Monica Franco for a while. She's, we always joke, she's a chef by night and an MMA, MMA Invicta fighter by night. And um, we've been talking about Aloha Friday Kitchen. I've done two or three videos. And Monica is in the Provo, Utah area. I think just like north, northwest in Eagle Mountain. Right, Monica? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we're going to talk a little bit about fighting, but a lot about Aloha Friday Kitchen. Before I get started, I want to do a video dedication to a young listener, a young lady that I have. Her name is Gianna. Her dad lets her subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I've met her dad, Kirk, on the, um, a few Zoom calls. So Gianna, this interview is dedicated to you. And maybe Monica can inspire you to do great things in life. And my online store opens next Friday. I'm going to put all the links below and all of Monica's links below. So Monica, um, let me tell everybody how we met. I know that sounds kind of weird. So you had put a uh, um, a post on Twitter, maybe going on two or three or three or four weeks ago, and it said, "Hey, you know, I've got Aloha Friday Kitchen. I'm trying to, you know, it's a Hawaiian catering business. I'm trying to expand. Any help?" And I, I said, "Oh, that girl seems nice. I'm gonna try to contact her." And again, we kind of joke. Lo and behold, you actually answered me, and we've talked a little bit. So. Again, welcome to the channel, and um, let's hit a little bit on your fighting career. So tell everybody about Invicta, what you've been doing, where you're going, and then we'll launch into Aloha Friday Kitchen. Yeah, I mean, I've been fighting now for competitively probably over nine years, doing martial arts for over 19 plus years. Been with Invicta since 2020, had a couple of fights with them. Uh, I'm one and one under under their promotion, two and one as a pro altogether, and just looking to make waves next year and hopefully, you know, strive to fight for a championship one day. I mean, it's always been the plan. So, so what got yeah. you, again? I know some of these answers because we've talked before. What kind of got you interested or intrigued with? And I kind of joke like punching someone in the face. <laughs> um so again like you said we we've talked about this before but in a nutshell it was my outlet for me uh martial arts was something that I gravitated towards uh due to my upbringing and just things that I had going on with my life and martial arts was just I guess that friend you could say in a sense my outlet uh I felt comfortable there I felt I felt good there so I just I forgot it. to mention at the beginning, and I apologize. You've got a black belt, and I said Perfect. you're the only black belt I've ever known that have ever said hi to me in my entire life. <laughs> so how much work and dedication went into that, even apart from Invicta? A lot. Uh, I, um, you know, we had to advance through the belt levels and study certain things and break wood and run for a certain amount of distance oh, in a certain amount of time. A lot of stuff. You just, you know, we, we put a lot of work into it. A lot of uh, blood, sweat, and tears and discipline. So are you as high, and excuse me for not knowing this, but I'm not a fighter. Are you at the highest rank possible being a black belt? Correct. <clears throat> you can move on into different degrees, which makes it you know you're a higher degree but i mean even as a black belt we're always learning and evolving right so i guess essentially that's what it would be as far as different degrees of black belts once you get your black belt you know you study you learn you grow more and they will give you like first degree black belt second degree black belt you know oh, but a black okay. belt is a black belt not nonetheless you know the black belt is a journey of of it all if i'm being honest you know okay yeah so let's talk about my favorite subject, food. 
with the mm -hmm. Lola Friday kitchen. And again, all the links are going to be below, guys and gals. So we know that, well, I know that you went from Hawaii to Utah. And part of that had to do with family. Part of that had to do with training. And I didn't know that fighters kind of went a little bit from gym to gym, learning from different teachers and instructors. So you land in the Provo, Utah area. And you say to yourself one day, I'm going to start Aloha Friday Kitchen. So tell us about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean... My, you know, me and my passion for entrepreneurship and business in general, you know that I had owned a business in Hawaii. So my passion for just that entrepreneurship and business had, it was already there. Um, however, my, my, my Ohana had moved up a little over a year ago. I was still back there holding down my business. Stuff happened and I just wanted to pursue business and I wanted to pursue it in a place that gave me more opportunities and where I believe that there is a big market for it, for what we provide and what we do. So that's what primarily brought me up here was all of those reasons. And again, I won't keep on saying this because I kind of, sorry, sorry. sorry I was just gonna say the training just kind of came hand in hand with it. You know, like there's a great gym up here that I train out of. So. Right. 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 So I don't know a lot about Utah, but my guess, or even Provo, Utah, but my guess would be there's not a lot of Hawaiian cuisine over there. Am I correct? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 you would be correct. There are a lot of great uh, places that provide a Hawaiian style of cooking and, and, and it's good tasting. But um, what we bring is just something really different. That's all I can honestly say. The only way you know is when you taste it, you, you'll feel the work and the love and the passion that went into it through the flavors, through the taste, through, you know, it's just really just trying to bring Hawaii up here That's and just awesome. spread it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tell us so about the authenticity of it, okay. you know, our own flair. Okay. So before we get into the food itself, let's kind of talk about, and I made a joke on one of the promotional videos that, that I wanted to do for you. I'm like, hey, if you're in New York, don't call Monica in Utah and say <laughs> that you want their Friday specials. So could you give us just like a little, since, you know, most of the listeners probably don't know the geography of, or you know, the general area of um, um, Provo, Utah, but specifically Eagle Mountain. So what's your like area? Cause it's a catering business. It's not a brick and mortar everybody. So what's your kind of target area of serving? Right now, right now it'd probably be the furthest would probably be a place like Provo only because we want to deliver good product as fresh as possible. Uh, and then other surrounding areas would be um, Orem, Utah, American Fork, Lehigh, Utah, Sandy, Sandy, Utah, uh, uh, Pleasantville. Okay. Like, of those areas. Okay. So now let's talk about, about the food. What's your, and again, none of these questions are like rehearsed. Tell us what you like to cook and maybe tell us some of the one or two or three most sought after dishes that people order? I mean, I don't really have a preference in what I like to cook because for me, I'm still learning and growing in that. So I want to know uh, how to cook different things. I guess mm -hmm. one of the things that I, I personally started liking to cook, I just learned how to make beef tomato for my brother and beef tomato is just basically like this really, uh, like a teriyaki style mm. stir fry with steak. Um, and it just, it's caramel, caramelized with mm. our, our sauce that we put on top. So that's been fun learning. Um, some of our popular products is, I mean, it's all kind of popular, but I think they really like the teriyaki stuff, like teriyaki chicken, teriyaki beef, teriyaki pork. They really like uh, our combo plates too, because we offer combo plates. So you can have the teriyaki chicken with the Kahlua pork if you wanted like a sweet and a salty going on. Oh, okay, you cool. Know, our Kahlua pork wraps and our Kahlua pork sandwiches also provide that sweet and salty with a uh, 
our, I, I call it our signature side of coleslaw because you can mm. eat coleslaw, but the way we make coleslaw is a little bit different. So it's definitely one of our signature sides. And we got a couple of signature sides, but that's one of them. So again, having that sweet and salty mix in those wraps and sandwiches, along with this homemade pineapple sauce that mom, mm. mom created it, that goes really well. So, yeah. Okay. So for lack of a better word, Monday through Thursday, right? You're trying to grow the business, take orders, meet new accounts, whatever. And then Friday, well, actually probably some of the cooking, I'm guessing, starts Thursday. And then Friday's go time when Correct. that's kind of your, your day to shine, right? Correct. Okay. 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 So again, I wanted to keep this short because mo when most people see a video, it's like 45 minutes. I'm not going to listen to that. So again, yeah. part of my forte is keeping some of these videos short. So again, I always do this with every video. The person I'm interviewing gets to the last word. Is there anything that you want to share with the viewers about you, Invicta, you as a person, you as the um, you know, owner, operator of Aloha Friday Kitchen? Is there anything that maybe we didn't talk about that you want to touch on? Um, well, fortunately, I've throughout the years as a fighter, I've had um, a lot of podcasts to be not in a podcast that I've done. And I always like to end it with uh, just gratitude for, for first of all, the person who always allows me onto their platform to share. So thank you for, for, for this opportunity. Um, and always, I always thank God. I thank my family for their support and everything that they've done for me, you know, underdog MMA manage, management. That's who I'm with right now as a fighter and my manager who has, you know, gone, gone above and beyond in so many different aspects than what people realize. And just uh, hopefully continue to grow the platform and and get to know people and meet new supporters, you know, <laughs> like, so thank sure. you for, for listening to this. So yeah. appreciate yeah. that. So again, everybody, I'm going to put all of Monica's information below, follow her on Facebook and Twitter. And um, yeah, Monica, we'll definitely have you back on. And thanks so much for your time. Yeah, I appreciate it. Aloha.